Now, originally, I did not have plans to make a second part of this video, at least not this soon. But this needs to be talked about, mainly because it's just too good not to talk about it. And today's topic is about how feminists are trying to normalize pedophilia. I already talked about how Sarah Nyberg, aka Sarah Butts on Twitter, has been confirmed to be a pedophile, not to mention, just about a week ago, Hannibal the Vector 13 has appeared on a crime report, stating that he molested a child. It has been confirmed that the report is true. There's even an article of someone saying that he is a pedophile, but he is not some sort of monster. But it gets even better. Let's start with the article I gotten from Citizen V from the Breitbart report. You got to love the juiciness on this one. Jeff Rauner tweets a picture of his own daughter towards none other than Sarah Butts. Now if you're tweeting a picture towards some normal person, that's fine. But when you tweet a photo of your own daughter towards a admitted pedophile, and it seems that you're asking the opinion of that pedophile on how she looks, I think someone should call you out on it because no one should ever do that. That's fucking sick. It goes even further down the rabbit hole as he complained in an article about the school that his daughter went to as sexist because it stopped her from wearing a skimpy outfit in class. What the hell? Then there's another piece about how pedophilia can be misunderstood. These are real articles written by this asshole. And you know what? Instead of acknowledging any form of constructive criticism, he blocks people on Twitter because guess what? It's no big fucking surprise. This is what social justice warriors do all the fucking time. And now we get to the live stream Anita was in, and the moderator name is Valis77. This guy right here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's been nine years since I've been on YouTube. Yeah, nine years. And guess what? It turns out this man has also molested a child a while back which should be a concern because this seems to be more or less a pattern within the social justice warrior community. Anita should at least be aware on who's joining their cause, because if there was a pedophile in support of Gamergate, while I appreciate their support for fighting for ethics and journalism, it doesn't really negate the fact that these people are fucked up in the head. They find little children attractive. But with articles where people are writing about pedophilia is normal, one must ask if these social justice warriors really have no issue with pedophiles. If almost every social justice warrior is okay with pedophiles, then it should be clear that the media should show a little light to this and show people that they need to stay away from these social justice warriors because these are dangerous manipulative, not to mention in support of pedophilia assholes. I am genuinely asking any of the social justice warriors out there if they are really okay with pedophilia. Because if they aren't, they should too. Call out their own. It doesn't matter if this person is the leader. What matters is your particular group of people have pedophiles in your group. Next thing you know, you will try to normalize necrophilia and zoophilia because it's just another form of sexuality. And who knows, you might end up normalizing murder as well. I know some feminists will try to justify murder if it's on a man. We need to go to the presence and talk to these people to show them the truth. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Social justice,